welcome to another edition of I Did A Con 3 Minute Rant. Now in all my years of watching boxing, I've seen some serious robberies in my time. Pacquiao Bradley, Lewis Honeyfield, Oscar De La Hoya Felix Trinidad, um, Eris Landy Lara, Paul Williams. But this, this one definitely takes the lot. This one tops the lot of them. Now I gave Taylor three rounds, round seven, round nine, and round 12. At a stretch, at a stretch, you could have given one of the early rounds. I didn't, but at a stretch, you could have given one of the early rounds. And in the round where Catterall got a deducted point, you could give it 10-8 to Taylor. Now, at that point, at 6-6, six, six, six rounds to six. However, Catterall got a knockdown. That's a 10-8 round. And Taylor got a point deducted. And even if you scored that round to Taylor, that would have been a level round. So that makes it seven rounds to five. So how, and that's seven rounds of five being sympathetic to Taylor. So how the hell, how the hell does Victor Lockren score it 113 to 112 in Taylor's favour? Let alone Ian John Lewis scoring it 114 to 111 to Taylor. How? How? That's just embarrassing and blatant corruption. Victor Lockren and Ian John Lewis, it's not incompetence. It's not bad judging. They are way too experienced of judges and referees to be incompetent or bad judging. It's only got to be one or two things, in my opinion. Either they got paid off or they were way intimidated by the Scottish fans and just gave it to Taylor to save face. Either way, either way, one or two things, they're not fit to judge another fight. I don't care how experienced they are, because it's not incompetence. It's not incompetence. They're way too experienced to be incompetent. It's got to be one of those two things. In boxing, you've had decisions that's gone to one fighter that should have went to another. That's bad enough. Then you have robberies. Then you have Catterall Taylor. It's that bad. It's not a stain on, on um, British boxing. It's a, it's a cloud. It's absolutely embarrassing how blatant it was. You've got Catterall, who's, he stepped aside to allow Taylor to get the unification fight. Then waited his time to get this fight, to get his his um, championship fight. He went into Taylor's backyard, executed the game plan perfectly to get robbed like this. It, it can't happen. It's ridiculous. This is why fans have been flocking from boxing to MMA. Not saying MMA don't have questionable judging decisions, but this is the reason why fans are flocking from boxing for ridiculous, blatant decisions like this. It's blatant corruption. Now, boxer and British board boxer control needs to go and do some serious investigations serious investigations and put some kind of penalties down, not just a little slap on the wrist. Because, as I said, it's not incompetence. It's one of those two things. So if boxing, but British Border Control especially, don't put some serious, serious, serious penalties down, it means the British Boxing Border Control is complicit in this robbery and corruption. Anyway, my time. Mm -hmm.